Hi, I'm Jennifer from Entry Level. I am the growth associate and at Entry Level we help uh, people learn tech skills and get experience so that they can get hired. Um, so Je I'm also with another Jennifer here today. Uh, Jennifer, <laughs> do you want to introduce yourself? Oh yeah, thank you very much Jennifer. So I'm Jennifer Job. Um, I'm project manager now but a very proud alumni of entry level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, do you want to say a little bit more about yourself, like your hobbies or some other things you do in your spare time other than learning? Oh, okay. Yeah. I love to cook. Everything about the kitchen makes me happy. <laughs> That's awesome. I yeah, actually yeah. got a jollof rice recipe and oh, yeah. I... I didn't have a lot of the spices, but I also can't do spicy, so it was very good. <laughs> no problem. I can even share some recipe with you if you want to. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I, I might ask you. No yeah. problem. So yeah, I my spice and I love to cook. I love pets a lot. I love to play with my pet dogs, especially. Yeah. And then I I have a small business at the side I which I do. I make fresh juices. So yeah. So that I, I love entrepreneurship. That's one of the things I studied as well before branching out into, into the tech space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I find that a lot of mm -hmm. entry level students, they learn to get a job, but then they want to start their own businesses in the future. Yeah. So I love that you're already doing that. Thank you. Um, okay. So my first question for you is, can you tell us what your learning journey was like from when you first started trying to break into tech all the way to landing a PM role? Okay. All right. So um, like I said earlier, I my background was not tech inclined. I had an accounting BSc and then had an entrepreneurship and master's. So I was more of a business person. But over time, I realized that I needed some other thing to just, you know, just join to my business, just like a remote job. And it was clear to me that the tech space was where I had to be if I needed a remote job that I wanted to do. But I was not sure what particular course to do. My sister had to, she, she's a HR person, and she recommended product management to me that it is kind of trending. It's easy for me to, I don't need to code I don't need to do all the tech, all the tech things. It's just very easy for me to get through. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I would try to look at look into it. I was not sure how to go about it then because I knew that I needed to have the foundation, like learn how to, what it entails. But I was not sure how to go about it. But I had to look up online to see possible platforms where I could learn. I found some Trefford. Um, I can't remember the other one now. But they were really very, very expensive for me at the time. So it was hard. I just kept on setting. And then one evening, I was just on Instagram. And I saw your video, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, I saw your video. I think you were talking about data analysis or something. So I just clicked on entry level. I wanted to see everything that entry level had. And I saw that there was a product management course. So I clicked on it. And I saw it. Everything looked really good. And I saw that it was very affordable. I was quite skeptical, like, oh, this cannot be true. It, this is very affordable, <laughs> you know. So I just, I just had, I just kept it on hold. I needed to be sure that this was not one of those fraudulent things. I was really, really very skeptical. But I came back again the next day and I checked. And I just said, I just told myself, you know, well, let me just give it a try. So I, I tried to register and I saw some, um, I saw a video you made with one of the alumni, Michael, I think Michael Gundikwe, and I had, I had, I actually watched the video and I had listened to him. That was what built, that's what built my confidence because it was so nice. I had to connect with him on LinkedIn and he recommended, yeah, he was really excited and he was like, he was going to help me if I had any, anything I needed to ask him. So that built my confidence and I had to pay for the course and it was really great because the, the timing was good. You know, from one model, you have time to do your assignment, your task and everything. And then it was practical. That's like the catch for me. It was really practical because I, I, I like to practicalize things, basically. I like to I like to feel, be in the real world to, you know, experience things firsthand. So that was the catch for me. It was, it was practical. I was always very busy. 
as I was listening to the lectures and reading all of that, I had to practicalize it. So it was really, really great for me because I already felt like I was the product manager even before completing the course, <laughs> you know. So it was, I would say that it was a great one for me because I was able to, to practicalize things that I had learned and it felt easy from coming from a business background. It was really fast to catch up to be in that tech space really, really quick because the models were great, the lessons were very explanatory and they were hands-on. So I had to always implement everything that I learned, every model, every session. So yeah, it was it was a great one for me. And I'm really very happy that I did not I did not <laughs> think of it of not being the right thing. I followed my instincts and I just gave it a try. And yeah, we're here today. I'm I'm really very happy. <laughs> That's so good to hear. I love how you saw my video and then now you're here talking yeah. to me about the experience. <laughs> um, the person you mentioned, Michael, when he was talking about the remote job, I interviewed him too. And it's yeah, just it's like, amazing. wow, I love it. Um, You also said earlier before you were a little bit skeptical so um, what got you over that, that made you enroll, even though you were kind of unsure about it? Okay, so um, like I said, I I actually tried to register. I think somewhere along the line, I listened to to the interview you had with Michael. So I think it's a good thing because from the interview, it felt real. Michael was, was very satisfied. He had landed jobs already and there was his testimonies were good. So that was that was the plus for me because I heard from a real person. Now it was not just all those things we see on Instagram. It was it was a real interview. So I think that's one of the cuts. It's a good thing that we you have opportunities to to interview your alumni because it, it builds confidence and trust for other people that might want to take on the offer. So that was what led my led my doubt. Yeah. And I had to connect with Michael personally. I connected with him on LinkedIn and he was he was he encouraged me that yes I could give it a try. Yeah. That's so good to hear. Cause sometimes I don't know um if the interviews help, but it sounds like it really does. So that's it does, amazing. Yeah, it, does. it does. Personally, um it, it helps me a lot. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You know, that's for why I actually opted to do an interview as well, so I can <laughs> be a source of inspiration for others too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope the people watching this, um, I hope you are inspired as well. And of course, I'll, it's okay to leave your LinkedIn so they can reach out to you too, right? No problem, no problem. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, let's move on to the job-related stuff. So how did you end up, like, what did you do after Entry Lover? Okay, so just after um, we rounded our models, before reviewing the portfolios, I already started to scout for jobs. I, I knew that I had to do something after that. Like I needed to work in a real company and be able to put in my skills. So um, the good thing is that the job I landed was from somebody in the community, the Discord community. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that we have a community. So it, that's one of the good things about the community because you can network. Well, you never can tell who's there with the person to help you tomorrow or you know so that's the good thing about community because it helps you network so this guy posted that he needed some painful intent for i think he mentioned a couple of roles and there was product management role in it so i had to reach out to him and told him i'll be interested if there is still vacancy in the company and he said okay i should send my cv to he sent me the hr details for me to send my cv and good enough i had already put put my portfolio together so it was ready already I was just waiting for um the submission date before I could submit my portfolio, but I had already put it together. So I submitted my resume alongside my portfolio. So I'm sure my portfolio was a cut because the, the hiring manager will have said, okay, this person knows what she's doing because she has the portfolio already. So <laughs> so yeah, it was it was it was a plus for me. I didn't just submit my resume. I attached my portfolio that I okay, I had experience while learning. I was able to do some things. I had hands-on experience. So yeah, and I got called for an interview, which I did. I was interviewed and I was offered the role. So um, I was very happy because 
I had something to show. I had my portfolio to show alongside my resume. And not just that, the, the person that linked me up to this job was also a member, an entry-level student. <laughs> yeah, so entry-level has done a lot for me, from giving me the opportunity to learn, network, and now I have a job. So I'm I'm really very happy, really very happy. I think it's, it's a good thing for everyone to be part of the community because you never can be too sure you can see job offers there you can connect with people yeah and it's a good thing to be in the community oh my gosh that's so good to hear i'm so excited for you because <laughs> like all the connections <laughs> oh, so <laughs> You said something about um the hiring manager, like when you wanted to show your portfolio so can, you can stand yeah. out. Did they ask yeah. for a portfolio or did they just ask no, for your resume? I just, went, I just went the extra mile. So I just had to show that, I, you know, I've done something because I, I know that when it comes to um the tech rules, what the hiring managers want to see most times is what you can do. It's not just about your resume. Have you been able to have hands on experience on this particular field so it was just me just going the extra mile to say you know what I have a portfolio I don't just have book knowledge I've done something I've been able to apply my skills in real life experience so I just went the extra mile and it was a plus for me yeah that's so good to hear that's why we include a portfolio project in every yeah. single one of our courses yeah. that's amazing and congratulations on landing the role Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love Thank the you. community because I feel like people yeah. look out for each other as entry-level alum so, yeah yeah that kind of um, relates to my next question which is what advice do you have for other students okay so um like I said my I'll start from the fact that um, probably before you you embark, you can try to listen to testimonies of other people who have been there because to be advised and all of those things. That was one of the things for me. I was able to listen to Michael's story. I connected with him already and I could already navigate through what I needed to do. So one of the things I would advise is that you first of all look to how to connect with people that have been there before, like past alumni or people that have that experience already. So you can have you can have people to call back to like sort of mentors or something to help you through and then be very active in the community because I was able to land my job there because I could see I was reading every post that was dropping and I could see when somebody was like, Okay, there's a vacancy for product managers, are you interested? So I was able to see that um opportunity and also to to put in the work. So I was able to during Michael's interview, he mentioned that he had three badges. I think critical thinker or something. I can't remember the three badges. You know that inspired me because I was looking forward to earning three badges as well. <laughs> I told myself that I was going to earn badges. So um and luckily I was I earned three badges as well. I earned critical thinker badge, on time badge. And I can't, I'm not sure I remember the third badge now. So I was really happy because it was something that was going to help me stand out. During my interviews, I could always tell my hiring managers that I'm a critical thinker. I, I know how to deliver tasks on time. So I would advise that you try, you aim to be the best of whatever you want to do. If you can have badges, it's good because it will help you stand out during your interviews, that can be one of your strengths. That can be one of the things you use to tell your hiring manager that, you know what, um, I'm good at this, I'm good at this. It's one of the skills to just add up to what you have. So yes, I, I would just encourage them to link up with people that have been there already, be very active in the community, aim to be the best of whatever you're doing, aim for badges, try to stand out and be dedicated to whatever you're doing put in the work because definitely you would always stand out. I tried my best to put in the work. I tried my best to follow through. I was avoiding any any form of deadline. I tried to always submit my missions before the next deadline. So I won't be I won't be tagged or have a red or <laughs> you know have something that just that just slows me. I was always trying to be at the top, trying to get things done as they come. So yeah, I think that's just basically it. 
just try to put in the work and yeah, things will happen, mm. right? Yeah, I love how you were such a dedicated student and it paid off for you. Like you did the research and then you were so active in the community and then you got the badges. That's amazing. Um, but how many hours did you commit to just like learning on entry level per week? Oh, okay, so um, I usually had time to learn from in the evening because I run a business. So I would always learn two hours, two hours, three hours, top. Yeah. Wait, so two to three hours every evening? Yes, every evening. Oh my gosh, you're such a dedicated student because like I already have a job. So I I think I did two to three hours every week <laughs> when I took an entry level course. Um but I still got my portfolio. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe it's yeah. not as good as yours, but um no, it was I think done. It is. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for sharing your story. I I think you inspired me as well. I'm gonna go finish my Python course because I missed yeah. the deadlines. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's another thing I love about the community because I did the UX design course and then I posted my certificate on Discord and then suddenly my phone was blowing up because everyone was saying congratulations to me, and I, I felt so special. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's so nice um yeah, I don't know I, if they knew I worked yeah but I don't know if they replied because they knew I worked for entry level or if you, they thought I was a student but either way I felt special <laughs> um yeah so to recap some of the main takeaways here your advice mm -hmm. to other students was connect with people especially entry yeah. level alum because they'll help you grow faster be active mm -hmm. in the community and put in the work because the badges can really help you and I believe yes. if you get badges it'll mention the skills that the badges represent in your reference letter yes. and you can share the reference letter to hiring managers yes. as well yeah yes. awesome thanks so much Jennifer um, I'm going to put links to your LinkedIn and everything in the notes um, do okay. you have anything else you want to share not exactly I'm, I'm just really very excited I'm glad that I did not miss this opportunity because I'm sure I'm very, very upset to myself now that I missed an opportunity like this. But I'm really happy that I could I could see the opportunity and I grabbed it at that time. Um, I think I would always recommend entry level to anybody who wants to. I'm ready to be an ambassador for entry level because I'm I'm super excited because the opportunity I had from um taking the course was really great. It, it's, made me um i just enjoy what i'm doing now you know today i actually even just got a kudos from my project lead he tagged me um out of the box thinker so i was just happy that oh i just got another badge <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> that's so funny you, now you're comparing the job to entry level instead of entry level to the job <laughs> Oh, I love that. And congrats on the kudos. I'm glad that you found the role that you love. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, I hope this inspires other students to take the leap as well. Because yeah, I, I always, I, I feel like people are like scared because they're like, oh, I don't know if I can commit the time. So I'll do this yeah. later. But then later it never comes. But I think oh, you're yeah. just gonna, like you have to make the time. Like you run your own business. So you just like worked and did entry level in the evenings. So you really have to make time for your growth if you really want to grow. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. I'll include the links to your LinkedIn so people can connect with you. Um, but other than that, our website is entrylevel.net. So if you want to check out the product management program or any other tech programs, um, just go to entrylevel.net. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for being here and thanks for sharing your story. Thank you so much, Jennifer. <laughs> I won't forget. I, I hope you don't forget to to um collect jello fries recipe. Yes, I, I will message you. Nigerian jello. <laughs> Sounds good.